Hundreds of Hong Kongers gathered in front of the central government complex, chanting five demands, not one less. Of course, we have a very serious crisis here. You know, like the um, the police brutality and um, the freedom of speech, the freedom of like um, assembly, is getting less and less. I think human rights in Hong Kong are in constant decline. During the last few months, we have seen the police abuse their powers. We have experienced them hitting protesters and kicking our heads. Protesters have set out five demands, including universal suffrage and an independent inquiry into police brutality over the last six months. Meanwhile, Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam refused to meet these demands, despite 800,000 people marching through the city two days earlier, in one of the city's biggest gatherings since the mass demonstrations started in June. I could not uh, agree to accept those demands simply uh, for the purpose of meeting uh, people's aspirations. The Hong Kong Public Opinion Research Institute in its latest survey showed that Lam's ratings dropped to just under 20 points, down from nearly 45 points at the end of May. Like Hong Kong, Taiwan has a history of receiving dissidents from mainland China. Taiwan's top diplomat said that Taiwan would help those displaced if Beijing intervenes with greater force to quell the protests. Under the circumstances, uh, certainly I don't hope that uh, it becomes true, but uh, if uh, there's something like that, uh, Taiwan is going to work with the international community to deal with that situation together. But Wu also added that his government has no desire to intervene in Hong Kong's internal affairs.